I'm David Gilday. And I'm Mike Dobson. And we hold the record for the fastest Ruby Cube solving robot. I've been building Lego robots to solve Ruby Cubes for about three years, um, starting with one that could solve it in about three and a half minutes. Uh, the most recent one I did on my own before I teamed up with Mike was called Speedcuber and that could solve it in about 15, 20 seconds, something like that. I'm generally interested in what other people are doing, so I've been sort of looking at videos of lots of other solvers. We're, we're not the only people to do this. And I saw Mike's channel on YouTube, um, and it, it, it sort of inspired me. He actually had a, a robot with three hands to solve a Ruby Cube. So instead of being rivals and competing against each other, we just decided to team up and see what we could do together. When I first started putting Cube Storm 2 together, um, I realised it was going to basically wipe out my Lego collection, so I did have to rush out and uh, sort of buy additional additional parts. In addition, uniquely just to make Cube Storm possible, um, it, it is it's quite an expensive thing to reproduce. It probably cost about fifteen hundred pounds worth of Lego, um, well over four thousand parts, we reckon. Um, but it was so much fun, and we just couldn't stop doing it. <laughs> There's a, a smartphone on top of CubeStorm, so the smartphone is really responsible for all of the, uh, um, the processing, the solution itself, so the robot turns the cube over so that the camera can look at every face. And once it's taken all six images, it then analyzes the colors, works out the solution, and then the application on the phone sends that solution back down to the Lego. Uh, it's just amazing. I can remember watching um, the Record Breakers programs on TV when I was a youngster and thinking people were doing amazing things. And now actually, you know, with Mike holding a Guinness World Record myself, it's just, yeah. it's, 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 it's amazing. When I realised we were approaching a speed that no one's achieved before, that sort of drove me even further because I thought one day I'm going to get this thing in the, in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> uh, and uh, well, there we are with the proof. <laughs> Fantastic.